now time for Tick, Talk, Show and Tell. Things we've learned on Tick Tock in the past week. I'll go first. Here is how to blur your house and your car on Google Street View. Mm. Because it shows all, if you happen to be doing something bad whenever they drove by, it's up there. <laughs> or if you don't want your house up there, it's up there anyway. Go ahead. Street view kind of feels like an invasion of privacy and could be dangerous. You don't know who's looking for cameras or side windows to climb through? Go to the website from your computer. Look up your address, then click on the photo for street view. Click on report a problem on the bottom right. It's very small. This red box will pop up. Move it around until everything you want blurred is inside. Answer the questions, fill in all the additional information, and hit submit. Smart. And then it does. It blurs it. You just have to know to go over there. That's, That's cool. cool. That's from at ATTN. Here's one from at creative underscore explained. Here's how to make your shoes smell good just using a tea bag if you have stinky shoes. If your shoes smell, just put a tea bag in each. Overnight, the odor will be gone. It just eats it up. Wow. Throw two tea bags. Really? In. Wow. And then we mentioned earlier, in case you missed it, same group. They're talking about cleaning your shoes just using a potato. Turn a potato on the side and then go over the white parts. It's magic. Look how beautiful white it comes out. White. Natural, no toxic chemicals. Oh, look at that white. You, you can eat what you cleaned with. Wow. Hey, you can eat your wash rag. <laughs> and then finally, here's how to make stainless steel shine. If you want to make anything stainless steel shine, just sprinkle some baking soda on a half a line like this and check this out. Beautiful. And they proved it's beautiful by going ting. ting <laughs> a little sign. chime. There's mine. Some little life hacks there. Amy, what do you have? Mine's at Max Clemenko. And he says that nine times out of ten, you'll be able to cut in line if you use this one word. Psychologists claim that just the word because acts as a shortcut to rationalization. So no matter how lame your actual reason is, our brain thinks it's justified making us more likely to comply with your request. Can I just go in front of you? Because my coat is orange, so I just thought... Okay, thank you so much. Would it be possible for me to cut in front of you? Because when the sun shines, yeah, we shine together and the... Sun shines? Yeah, is it okay? Oh, huh, sorry. Thank you, guys. I'm sorry, actually, can I cut the line because of my drive, because of my, my power? Oh, sorry, thank you. I just got in line because of the global recession and all of those things. Thank you so much. Hi there, sorry, are you in the queue? Huh? Would it be possible for me to cut in front of you? Because I have a ring to pay, thank you. Sorry, hi there, sorry, can I just cut in? What's funny is, if you just hear because, you just assume something's about to be said as a real reason, and you just go, yeah, yeah, go ahead. If they ask and they go, hey, would you mind if I do this? Because, and you're just like, well, then... At first I thought it was stupid, but then I started to think, you know what, I'd be like, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Well, and that he has the accents at the beginning, but that's what he, he said psychologists say that our brains automatically do what you were just saying. I just go, oh, well, if he has a reason, I'm going to be nice and let him go. Mm -hmm. My coach is orange. Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is cool. So uh, you can play the clip, Ray, but it has words here and a visual. So, Bones, watch this while I'm telling the story. In 1994, Alan Jackson was told he was playing the ACM Awards before the show, but his band was playing uh, a, a track. So they weren't going to actually be playing the instruments. He didn't like that. So he said, hey, drummer, play without sticks. So if you notice in this clip, the drummer's right behind him playing the drums without his drumsticks. It's funny. They were just playing a big track of music and drums because they weren't going to mic at all. Yeah. And so that's hilarious. The drummer's playing with no sticks. He's just, just got his hands aiming like he's playing the drums but with no drumsticks. Alan Jackson has a history of kind of sticking it to award shows. Once they were like the George Jones tribute and he did a George Jones song anyway. When they were like, hey, don't do that. Damn, that's cool, man. Yeah. It's hilarious. This guy's playing drums with no sticks. <laughs> They're doing close-ups on everybody except the drummer. Right, but you can see him behind Alan Jackson playing without sticks. That's funny. All right, Lunchbox, what do you got? I found a magic trick, guys. Listen, I'm not into magic. I don't know how this works. I tried it. Boom, nailed it. My wife tried it. Nailed it. This dude, Andres Hernandez. Listen to this. Bobby, I need you to get a calculator and do this because it is going to blow. Is it magic or math? Well, it's a magic trick, but it's math. Okay, but it's, it's fascinating. Hit it. They say if you put your shoe size and add two zeros, minus the year you were born, plus the year you're on, you should get this number. And the last two digits is your age or how old you should be turning this year. Come it's, on. It's just a math thing. I mean, I got mine. Yeah, but everyone's oh shoe God, size is different. Oh, my God, you're 43. I know. Guys, you're that's freaking crazy. out. That's crazy. You're freaking out. About it is crazy. Oh, okay. No, that's, that's, that's crazy, How bro. did that happen? That's crazy, dude. Right, that is okay, crazy. No, no, no. Like, like how is Amy going to get the same number right. with her shoe size? That's what, what I'm saying. What is it again? What's the thing? Yeah, I want to so hear your it. your shoe size. Yep, okay. add two zeros. Okay. 
Yeah. So let's just plus say, hold on, the, or hold minus on. year you were born. No, no, no. Let me do something else. This is what you're probably missing. Go ahead, just read it to me again. Go. <laughs> okay. You're, plus two zeros. Go ahead. Minus the year you were born. Okay. Plus the current year. Okay. And then whatever number the last two digits are, whatever age you. I are. put in the wrong shoe size. I still got my my um, age. Oh yeah, this is right. I'm 23. Wow. Well, you, <laughs> you did just wrong. Yeah, you didn't do it right. But <laughs> I put in the wrong shoe size. I put in the, my. I wore a size six, and I still got it. So it's okay. a math thing okay, that just okay, okay. That, that that one doesn't. It's probably an even number. The double zero is just an even number, regardless oh. of what it is. Therefore. You guys, okay, you guys act like David Blaine just showed up and a tiger came hey. out of his butt. <laughs> Sorry, I did it and I was like blown away. I sent it to my wife. She did it and she was blown away. Okay. And I was like, this is the most fascinating thing ever. Guys, I got to get it. So 19, 1981. Because the, the birth year is what the real difference oh, is. It's okay. the only thing. Okay. okay, and then that. Because it's course, split something your, in half. It's okay. an even number. You're right. And they tricked us. You're right. He that tricked me. I thought so. I knew magic. I mean, I, I mean it's a simple when, party trick. I could not. But I, if I someone's couldn't. doing a party trick with a calculator, you know it's all math anyway. <laughs> Unless they turn it upside down and they're like, look, boobs. <laughs> That's you ever done that one? Yeah, yeah, I did it all the time back in the day. Okay. okay. Morgan, do you have one of these? I do. Okay, go ahead. I learned from a woman named Velma that a bar of soap can keep bo- bugs out of your house. You take your bar of soap and you run it on the inside of your door frame and we use our spring and it keeps... The bugs out of the house. Didn't someone tell me recently, too, about soap in the front yard? Yeah, my neighbors, they were talking about, um, and it was, Irish Springs was what they recommended, too, like shaving it into little sprinkles and sprinkling it all throughout your, around your house and everywhere, and so that the bugs don't come into the backyard. So yard, house, um, under your arms, lunchbox, you should put some there. Try that. No, I'm good. Your hair for the bugs not to be up there. Oh, I don't have bugs in my hair. Prove it. Okay. TikTok show and tell. Everybody, nice job. Yeah. Although, you guys all reacted a little too strongly to Lunchbox's magic trick. Man, I fell for Pretty that. Pretty cool. I finally got it's it. It's not cool. It said 42. Yeah. See? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but you can put any shoe size in. It's still The two zeros are what's important because yeah. it's an even number at the end. Uh, that was still crazy. And the only, no, it's not. It's, it's a-